I think we are live. Yes. Hello, everybody. Hi, lovely people. This is something of uh, new stuff that we are trying today. Facebook Live. And uh, we've got a very uh, important topic that we want to discuss today and on live and share it with everybody here. I've got Shivani with me joining in today to discuss on this topic and we can share some stories or maybe thoughts around the locus of control. It's an important concept that I thought we all should understand about it and uh, see whenever we are taking some decisions, what kind of influences that and the results when and more or most often when we get the result, how do we how do we react to it? And who we who do we give the ownership to? Right. So this is these are some of the very important aspects about uh, what we do. And uh, it's it's the main concept that we kind of revolve around is the locus of control. With that, Shivani, I would request you to introduce yourself. Hello, Ravi. Uh, it's great being here to discuss about this point. I know we will be candid and uh, uh, we would be uh, talking. Uh, so my name is uh, Shivani, as everyone knows, and uh, I am uh, head of project delivery and client relations at Paralog. And uh, I have a side hustle, Kompal, that I do. Uh, out of love for plants and uh, uh, I'm joining Ravi here to discuss about locus point of control and you know share my views uh, what I think it is and uh, how I think it can help everyone and how it can help me also understand it a little better from Ravi. Thanks Shivani uh, that's great and uh, with that I think we all have heard about focus Focus, focus, and all kind of uh, funny words. But uh, I, I believe, uh, unless someone has gone through psychology, they wouldn't have heard about locus. <laughs> when I first uh, came to know about this word, locus of control, I, I was taken by surprise. And uh, then I kind of dig into it and uh, read a little bit. And it was something that I was really surprised by, that this can also be a... a area of study uh, because we have been hearing from our parents th that uh, work hard, whatever you do is your own uh, actions and all of that. But uh, coming to the point straight, locus of control is basically, uh, it's it's a degree or it's it's basically a focal point where, where you kind of put in the ownership of the results that you get, right? So for example, as a student, if I am doing great in my exam or if I am not doing great in my exam, what am I uh, attributing this result to? For, exa for example, let's say I'm a student and I've not done great in my exams. And uh, what do I do? Do I blame the results on everything else? COVID, no COVID too much of noise at home, too difficult of questions. Is it everything external, right? If I am putting the ownership of the result to everything external, then my locus of control is external, right? At the same time, if I am a candidate who did not do well in my exams and then I come back and I get the result and I look at everything and I say, okay, I did not study well or maybe I did not understand the concepts really well, or it was something that I could have done to improve. So over here, I am putting myself as the owner of the result. And this is where we call it locus of, point, uh, locus of control as being internal. So this is a very basic concept that we all should understand. We all should know. Uh, we all know basically because since childhood, we have been taught about it that uh, Anything that we do, our parents come and do tell us that this is your own doing, that you are repenting now. So anything uh, you want to add? 
Yes, Ravi rightly said, like, you know, the focus point of control is like the factors which usually matter, the internal and external factor. You know, to a point, it also depicts like, uh, to what extent you feel that factor is affecting you? Because it, uh, I can relate it to a story, you know, uh, many a time people have heard it, but, you know, I just want to put this story up in the specific contest. Um, so there were, you know, like two frogs and uh, by chance they fell into a, a big bowl of milk. So two frogs in two separate bowls of milk and, you know, uh, I will talk about the attitude that they had when they fell into it. So, you know, the frogs thought like, now this is like the end of the world and I'm not going to the edge of the bowl and I will not jump out in any way. So they kept, you know, swarming in that pool of milk. And one frog was like, you know, now I can't do anything. I am in milk and, you know, this, this is something which I cannot get out of. And now I think I'm going to die. So that attitude, what happened? He stopped swimming. And in, in return, what happened? He drowned and he died. So what happened is he related his circumstance to the external factor that the milk is something which is affecting his life and the milk is something which will take his life. So he stopped trying. And that what made him drown and, you know, end up being dead. On the other side, that frog was very headstrong. He thought, you know, he persevered, he he got his strength and he was like, no, I have to do this. You know, this is something that I can work on. This is something that I have to, you know, break through. So he kept swimming. So while he kept swimming, he churned the milk so, so much that, you know, it, it in turn turned into butter. So he, he got a point, a focal point through which, you know, he could jump out of the bowl. So his locus point of control was in his heart, you know his self-determination you know so that i can do it this is something uh, which is in my control and you know that uh, strong headedness got him out of the situation so two frogs like you know i can compare it with two human two human beings who think like you know i cannot do my work is so hard this is something which is beyond my control and you know they they start blaming others or external factors or you know other uh, immaterial things in their lives uh, saying that this is beyond my control when you start taking charge of it when you think no this is something which i have to take control and i will do it so you know so so affirmations also uh, you know play a very vital role in such kind of things because when you are low on energy and you know when you are low somewhere deep down in your heart you need that affirmation that you know something is good is going to happen and you put that goodness into it. So, you know, maybe if you also relate some things, so you can also like speak about it, like how affirmations can be. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, uh, affirmations help a lot because, I mean, as we are saying that, we're just defining right now, right? The focal focus or, or the locus of control being external or internal. Now, the degree of effort that it takes, right? It's super easy to blame others or blame circumstances or blame anything else. And it is extremely difficult to own that situation, right? And say that I could have done better. So that is the root cause because it's human nature to take an easy route. But the moment somebody takes a difficult and a hardworking path, they, they kind of see success or reach success. And when you're doing hard work, you may have people who are coming up and acknowledging that and giving a pat on your back. And there are times when you have nobody and you have to self-motivate yourself. And as you were speaking about self-affirmations, I believe self-motivation comes and, and there is a big part this self-affirmation plays into that. I mean, you, you got to tell yourself that you are built for it. You got to tell yourself that you are really great and you will achieve it. Because unless you say that to yourself, nobody else is going to come and tell you. And that's it. I mean, if you're searching for strength from outside, I guess you'll keep searching. But if you look at 
for the strength from within, you're eventually going to find it and that will give you or propel your journey towards success. So that's why I, I give a lot of value to self-affirmation because it's kind of gives you that upliftment. And uh, you would find a lot of videos, a lot of text. And, and in fact, doctors uh, and a lot of people even suggest to you that if if you need get up in the morning, look into the mirror, look at yourself and, and tell yourself that you are great. You can achieve certain things. So it's great. Uh, coming back to the focus area of today's topic is the locus of control. And as I was trying to say that it's very difficult to bring your own strength. B-Y-O-S. <laughs> Bring your own strength, and affirmation makes a plays a big role in that. And uh, yeah, a, a, a trivia fun fact: uh, this is I'm just looking at Wikipedia right now, and uh, this particular concept was, or uh, this particular yeah concept was developed by Julian B. Rotter in the year of 1954, and it it. It has become a key part of personality psychology. So as I was saying earlier, right? anybody knowing about psychology would definitely be able to relate to this concept that we were talking about. And uh, I mean, to kind of sum up everything, in, in difficult times today, uh, and the reason also why I have come in uh, online and sharing this story, is because I was speaking to a friend today. His parents are impacted by COVID, and I was and I was getting so many calls from everybody else uh, that I know, and getting to hear some stories and and and, and their uh, situations kind of hit me hard uh, with the current situation that it's so difficult in some of the cities in India where you don't have you don't have oxygen, you don't have doctors, you don't have place in hospital, it is really difficult and gloomy. Uh, just one thing, can you hear me? OK, perfect. So it, it is very difficult. And at this point, I was kind of taken aback. And while I was talking to that, uh, that friend of mine, he himself was impacted. But he was positive about the efforts that he has put in. And he was positive about the results that he's seen. And I happened to get, I, I was getting scared with the situation. I, I was like, I'm really scared. And he, who was going through that situation, gave me strength by telling me that, yes, the situation is very bad. But the biggest <laughs> problem is when we get scared. If we get scared and start thinking about things that are not in our control, oxygen is not in my control. Hospital is not in my control. Things, there are a lot of things that are not in my control. But my motivation is in my control. When he, when he shared these things, it gave me a lot of strength. And I mean, you were the closest person. And you would have seen the change in my, uh, my personality since then. I've been more confident. And that's what I want to tell everybody. Be more confident. This situation needs you to be more positive than negative. And I mean, we all have family groups on WhatsApp. And every day, morning, evening, we keep getting good morning, good nights. And some of us don't really like that. But I'm very thankful to one of my aunt who shared a WhatsApp message yesterday, only sharing the good news, which was, I mean, all over the news, everybody is talking about so many patients died, so many got affected. This is the situation. That is the situation. And all is negative. But this message was only talking about good part. So many patients were released. So many patients recovered. So many patients went negative. So many tests happened and all of that. So all positive news. So when you kind of look at both sides, so that's that's one of a kind of uh, affirmation to yourself that, yes, situation is bad, but you can get through it. So I just want to call upon everybody and say that, yes, the situation is bad, but keep yourself motivated. And we keep the strength 
to yourself, <laughs> give strength to your family members and sail through this. It's a difficult time. We all are together in it and we all will sail through this weird, bad time. With that, I want to I want to conclude and give you an opportunity to speak more about locus of control and uh, share your thoughts. So, you know, when we have to sum up uh, locus of control, you know, I want to uh, specifically stress on the point is like, you know, locus of control is like a continuum. It, it, it's like it's changing. It, it's like slowly, gradually taking its space and, you know, it never stops. So, you know, no one like no one has like 100 percent control of anything in their hand. Be it be like your internal uh, locus point of control or like your external locus point of control. You know, in internal, I would say you are more likely to take responsibility of your action. And, you know, in external, you are, you know, you're trying to blame the outer circumstances for it. So, you know, one has to choose and one has to follow the instinct over here, how you want to be perceived, how you want to gain that strength and how you want to continue in this, you know, in this specifically in this situation. So, you know, we tend to get less influenced by others, have your own mind and your opinion. And, you know, I think you can sail through start taking control of things. So that is something I, I, I want to add on to. Thank you so much, Shivani. And with that, uh, I believe you've shared something the other day. Be like a cactus. Grow in any situation. <laughs> with that, I want to uh, kind of sum up this discussion. And hopefully, people would find it informative as well as helpful. Do share your comments uh, and your feedback to us and we'll keep bringing such talks to you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.